Hello, my little friend. I'm happy to be here again. You're welcome to yet another exciting class. Hooray! Now, today in this lesson, we're going to look at the topic the africa struggle for independence can you say it africa strong struggles for independence now today we will look at the struggle for africa's independence on the two sub topic which is senegal struggle for independence and cameron struggle for independence are we ready now let's go Senegal struggle for independence. The capital of Senegal is Dakar. You should know that. Then also Senegal is a country in West Africa. It is found in West Africa. The official language in Senegal is French. Just as the official language in Nigeria is English, so the official language in Senegal is French. The people of Senegal are called Senegalese. Can you say that after me? The people in Senegal or the people of Senegal are called Senegalese. Now, the first European country to enter into Senegal was the Portuguese. Now, when the Portuguese came into Senegal, they began to trade with the native people who are referred to as the black. Now, they traded in clothes and metals, and in return, they got gold and ivory. So, when they traded with the native people, they got gold and ivory in return. Now, later on, the Dutch and French replaced the Portuguese, and they also traded with the native people. And later on, in the year 1895, Senegal was colonized by France. So France later colonized um, Senegal, and it became Senegal became a France colony. I hope you understand that. Okay, when the Senegalese were under the rule of France, they were not happy. And this was because they were not allowed to participate in the government of the country. So they were not happy. And some set of persons came together and decided that they should begin to rule themselves. Now, these persons are called um, Senegalese nationalists. They are a group of people who came together and decided that they wanted the independence. Now, we're going to look at um about three of them the first one here uh, is leopold sengo he was one of the senegalese nationalists we have um, number two abdo diof and number three lamin goye so these were the senegalese nationalists who fought for the um independence now senegal was granted safe road in the year 1958 and in June 1960, Senegal got their independence. So they got their independence the same year uh, Nigeria got theirs, but in different months. And while in August that same year in 1960, Senegal became a republic. After Senegal gained her independence, the first president of Senegal was Leopold Senghor. He became the first president of Senegal after their independence. Okay, now we'll look at Cameroon's struggle for independence, how Cameroon uh, got their independence. Now, if you check the map of Africa, you will notice that Cameroon and Nigeria are neighboring countries. The official language in Cameroon are English and French, just like we have the official language in Nigeria as English. The official languages in Cameroon are English and French. And the capital of Cameroon is called Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital of Cameroon. So, uh, if you check the map of Africa very well, you will notice that 
Cameroon and Nigeria are very close to themselves. So that's I would say they are neighboring countries. And the official language spoken in Cameroon are English and French. And lastly, the uh, capital is Yaoundé. Okay, now Cameroon had many masters, and K Germany was the first uh, European country to colonize Cameroon, after which France and Britain colonized uh, Cameroon, and then after that, Cameroon was divided into two. One part was for British, and one part was for the France government. The Cameroonians, who were the people of Cameroon, were not happy for, because of the way the France and British was ruling them. They were not allowed to vote or even take part in the country's affair. So they began to seek for their independence. And then some of them began to sink for their independence. Now in the year 1958, France granted Cameroon self-rule. So in the year 1958, they began to rule themselves. Why finally Cameroon gained her independence in the year 1960. So now, let's look at the first prime minister of Cameroon, who was no other person but Amado Aijo. He was the first prime minister of Cameroon and later he also became the first president. While in the year 1982, he resigned from being president and he handed over to Paul Bia, who became president. Now let's look at some interactive questions before we go. Dash was not a Senegalese nationalist. A. Abat Makoli, B. Abdul Diof, and C. Lamigui. The right option is A. Abad Macaulay. Abad Macaulay is a Nigerian nationalist leader, not a Senegalese nationalist leader. Okay? Now, so this is where we end the lesson. Yay, yay. I hope the lesson was fun. Okay, my lovely little friend, do not forget to attempt your quiz. I love you. Bye.